Hi, today we will be learning about mathematical statements and the importance of using variables in mathematics. But before that, I would like to share the book I am using for this course in Discrete Mathematics. The following book is Discrete Mathematics with Applications, 4th edition by Susanna S. Three of the most important kinds of sentences in mathematics are universal statements, conditional statements, and existential statements. A universal statement says that a certain property is true for all elements in a set. For example, all positive numbers are greater than zero. In this case, our certain property is all positive numbers are greater than zero. And our given set and elements are any number greater than zero. Note that sometimes it is clearly stated for you that it is a universal statement because it will start by saying for all or all. So just remember that. A conditional statement says that if one thing is true then some other thing also has to be true. For example, if 378 is divisible by 18, then 378 is divisible by 6. In this case, for our example, our statement is true for both parts. And for the most part, conditional statements can be clearly stated with a if and a then, as shown right here. Our last mathematical statement is an existential statement. An existential statement says that there is at least one thing for which the property is true, given that a property that may or may not be true. So in this case, for our example, the property that is being claimed is there is a prime number that is even, and this is true for one number, and that number is the number 2, because 1 times 2 is 2, and that's a prime number that is even. Rewriting statements using variables and identify what kind of statement. Is there a real number whose square is negative 1? Is there a real number x such that x squared equals negative 1? Does there exist blank such that x squared equals negative 1? Does there exist a real number? such that x squared equals negative 1. A real... I'll use the symbol, the symbol because I just can't write number. Alright, so now let's identify what kind of statement. So this is definitely not a universal statement because it doesn't have for all in it and it's not a conditional statement because it doesn't follow the if then format and it's not existential because the property is not true therefore it's none Thank you all for watching, and if you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. It would help me a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please leave a comment below. And if you want to see anything else in the future, also let me know down below in the comments. Thank you once again, and I hope I can see you guys next time. Thank you and bye.